I wear this life like a light shirt, said the old Chinese lady when they asked her, how are you? Well, how about yourself? Do you feel this life like a light shirt? Or maybe, like many of us, like a big burden on your shoulders? Welcome to Nice Surprise Daryl Greetings from your Lady G. A few days ago, I had a little chat with a friendly neighbor. And among other stuff, she said something like, well, you know, at the end of the day, someone has to back off and be a victim for the greater good. I didn't like the word victim at all and least of all connected to myself. So in line with my personal tarot card, the Hermit, if you want to find out your personal tarot card, just write me your zodiac sign and I will let you know. I took some time for myself and I meditated upon the question how I backed off and given my power away to anyone. So for all of you that are like me, I will open the tarot cards and ask them how you can reconnect with your power. Why did I say reconnect and not connect with your power? It is because you have it all the time with you. You just need to take a look and find out when exactly did you turn your back on you and how did you do it in order to reverse the situation. So let's begin. We have four cards, that means four groups. Take a look quickly and decide without thinking which group is yours. If you have any doubts, you can watch both groups and then decide which one you like most. So let's begin. And before we begin with the reading, let me ask you who or what do you think is blocking your personal power? Here I see you as a young woman. You're optimistic, ambitious, you have your good friends, your everyday life seems okay, but you feel an invisible weight pressing you down every time you step towards a new opportunity. You tried new jobs online, new jobs in the office, you work all the time, but you never feel quite good enough. Same case with new friends. Same case with working abroad. Like someone or something cursed you each time you would like to try a new thing, my dear. So where is this block affecting your life? As I can see, this block impacts your relationships. It impacts your career, even your health. You're wondering what is going on and therefore I ask the terror for you, is this shadow something outside of you or a part of you actually? There is something blocking your personal power and you yourself believe it comes from outside. It is always a different thing though, an insensitive relative, parent or a sibling a bullying colleague or a boss, an information coming always too late. You blame people, you blame circumstances, and no wonder the whole situation sucks. Finally, you sit down and make a thorough introspection, or you are simply listening to this reading to find out something completely different. Each and every situation that went wrong was under a shadow of a doubt that has clenched onto you, deeming your light in a way. And finally, you're honest with yourself. 
and see clearly for the first time. Although you wanted certain things from the bottom of your heart, there was always a doubt within yourself to begin with. So let's trace where does it come from. And I can see this doubt takes us years back to your childhood. You may not remember, you may dream about it soon, or you will see it and hear it quite well in your head. That sad day from your childhood. A careless comment made by this loving and close person of all people. Yeah, actually they had problems in their life. So the comment was more or less about them than about you. But how can you tell what is true? You were just a little child. It was maybe your mother, father, sibling, aunt. Important things, someone you do care deeply about. She's not going to make it ever, she said to someone. And of course, you love her, you trust her, your subconscious mind will always make sure that you find a big block on your road to sabotage yourself. No wonder you're full of doubts. So let's see what can we do about it? How can you step back into your personal power? And I'm here to tell you, my dear, that this situation is now over. Since whatever that child heard was wrong. And you now know it. We are all strong, powerful beings, and so are you. From now on, you will always find a way to do it. Because you will always do the callings of your heart. The card reveals your path forward, shedding self-doubt, embracing your strengths, and setting your boundaries. By the end of your journey, you are free of that shadow, standing radiant in your personal power. And you may wonder, my dear, what will change first as a result? Well, you will become a warmer, friendlier person and make better connection with people around you. Of course, now you know that the right people for you will respect you more once you become honest and tell them what you want and accept and what you refuse to accept. Pretty soon you will recognize a friendly smile of a neighbor that you have never seen before. Yes, exactly the one you thought was sad each time you see them. I am sure you know that there was a smile even before. Only you could not capture that picture, my dear. And now, to close the reading, I have a question for all of you. Can you think of a memory or a person that might have been the root of your self-doubt? And before I begin with the reading for my beautiful group number two, let me ask you a question. What is your heart truly really craving right now? Meditate on that. I see you as a tender, loving, fragile woman. A beautiful woman you are, my dear. You're an artist. This is all you ever wanted to do in your life and you were lucky enough to do it for as long as you can remember. 
various exhibitions, congratulations, flowers, candies from your dear people. Everything was going pretty well until a few months ago. You saw in the crowd a person that looked very familiar and suddenly you felt a sharp pain in your chest. You rushed to the doctor, you didn't know what was going on, was it dangerous? Luckily, the doctor said that everything was okay, that you might have worked too hard for this exhibition. Days and months passed by. You went on with your everyday life, but something was different and not in a good way. You have lost your spark, wondering why your once passionate creations feel flat now. Something is blocking you but you can't quite place what it is. Few times you had an urge to scream and to cry, but there was always something or someone to distract you, so you actually didn't have time to think about this much. But now, now the deadline for the book illustrations is approaching and you still make and delete immediately your work. You started to have anxiety, panic attacks, and you don't know what is going on. You want to see a specialist, or you may do it soon. So you either found out, or you will soon find out, that your personal power is blocked by your suppressed emotional expression. You remember the familiar face? That face reminded you of him, your first love. The one that disappeared without a word. You don't even know if he is still alive. You may not be aware, but back then, in between those tears, you decided to control and suppress your feelings so that you never, ever be hurt that way again. Now you know, your block came from all those years of numbing your feelings to avoid pain. And now you know that it is all right to feel it in order to heal it. This person you saw in the crowd, yes, the person that was at your exhibition, didn't just look like him, it was him. The years have passed, so he obviously changed, but your soul recognized him. Your suppressed emotions wanted to go back to the surface, and you decided to bring back control and suppress and then suppress even more. It is good that you found help, since these suppressed emotions could lead to far more problems than you could imagine. This time, they only affected your artistic passion and, and expression, because your artwork became your emotions outlet and your passion. You can find a way out. You can let go of those self-limiting beliefs. And you can trust in your heart's desires. Remember this. You now know that you can let go of your self-limiting beliefs and you can trust in your heart desires. And as you begin to create from a place of honesty, your work will flourish like never before. Your heart will sing with joy because finally you will delete all those blocks you piled up on top of it and decided to listen to it. And what do you think your heart craves at this time, right now? 
a new layer of your heart is revealed. The tarot card hints at a specific longing you haven't admitted to yourself. You're yearning for genuine connection and emotional expression. You've been waiting for this moment for so long. It is as though the chains from your heart have been broken. A new, more exciting chapter of your life is beginning. Enjoy it, my dear group number two. And before I close this reading, let me ask you. What is one thing your heart wants that you might be ignoring? my dear group number two. And before I begin with the reading for my beautiful group number three, let me ask you something. What are the self-limiting beliefs holding you back? Think about it. You are a young and optimistic woman, one that people like and trust. They always come to you for an advice since they know that whatever you tell them is the right thing to do. Your whole life, things are going pretty much safe and secure. No distractions. It is a bit boring sometimes. But life is not always filled with fireworks and excitement, right? Lately, surprisingly, you find yourself scrolling through the job adverts. It is strange since you have a good job with a decent salary, good colleagues. And although you don't see it yet, you have been holding on to your stable but unfulfilling job, afraid to leap into your true calling. That's why this reading will urge you to ask yourself about your life's purpose. And let's see what is currently blocking your power. I'm here to tell you that your greatest block to a new fulfilling life filled with power is your fear. Fear that you're not enough. Fear of failure, fear of judgment. What if you give up your safe job and discover this one is not that much fulfilling as you believed? What will your family say? How will you pay your bills? That is all something you would need to face if you decide to leave your comfort zone and go for something else. And believe me, my dear, this block is affecting your life. The cards are telling me that this block is mostly affecting your career and your personal growth. You always think about the worst possible option. How you will lose money, lose your house and the stable but boring life that you currently have. On the other hand, if you don't change and you don't go out of your comfort zone, you don't learn new things. You do not develop. Sooner or later, life will throw you a curveball and you will have to accept the change. It will happen. It's, it's not avoidable. Why wait and accept whatever comes your life when you can create it yourself and create it to suit your own needs? And where does this block stem from? Something must have happened for you. Let's see. You see, nobody ever learned how to be a good parent. We have connection with the childhood. 
people use their own life experiences and whatever their own parents taught them in order to bring up their children. Whatever they told you was okay for the time they lived in. Now with the fast developments, people know that this universe is abundant and one can always find more and better. This one card, representing your childhood, reveals to me that you were taught to prioritize stability over dreams. And this is how you decided that your dreams are not worthy. But you can become a higher evolved version of yourself. The message is clear. The only way forward is to let go of these outdated beliefs. Continue looking at those job adverts. Watch videos. Find out what makes your heart sing with joy. Keep your reason, of course, but find a way to follow your dreams. Your heart will tell you. Believe me. Now you might be wondering, how can you let go of these limiting beliefs? Well, with each step you do, you will grow closer to a more evolved, fearless version of yourself. You will take matters into your own hands. Things will start opening for you. You will ask yourself, why didn't you think of this before? Everything on this earth has its own time, my darling, and its own reason, and its own season. So, this time has come for you. Enjoy it. And let me ask you the following. Do you think fear has been holding you back in your life? Meditate on this, my dear group number three. And before we begin with the reading for my beautiful group number four, let me ask you something. Who or what might be stopping you from living to your fullest potential? Think about it, my dear group number four. You have a standard life. You are a woman with things settled pretty much. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're actually quite satisfied with your life. And yet, once again, you're talking with tears in your eyes about your situation to a friend. You're warm. You're caring. You're always ready to help. If your time and circumstances allow you to do that. Yet, you feel yourself shrinking every time you're around this particular person in your life a stupid and nagging family member somehow they know exactly how to bring the worst in you what you don't know my dear is that this relative is your mirror and is telling you clearly what you should deal with. Each time they are around you, they manage to make you feel small, not capable to do a simple thing. They don't even care about your health, as they have no idea what you're going through in your life. You're hiding everything from her. The cards are revealing to me that your personal power has been diminished not by this person, 
but by your own unwillingness to see yourself as powerful. I know how much their opinion means to you, but realize, please, you are so beautiful, so clever. If I, for example, tell you that, oh, you're so ugly, you will just laugh about it. Even if this relative tells you that you were ugly, you would again laugh about it. It is the same about your power. You would be quite neutral emotionally about their behavior if deep down you felt powerful. Cards are telling me that facing your broad potential with this reading, you will finally realize you have been worthy of stepping into your power all along and it's time to reclaim it it's time to show your relative and the whole world your true face and now the little devil inside of you is asking why you should trust in your personal power so many people like you this way. What does it matter what this relative thinks about it? Well, believe me, my dear. Once you reclaim your power back, you will create such a fulfilled life that you will never want to go back to the way it was before. People will respect you not only like you and doors important doors will open for you of course you might wonder how can you step into your personal power it is simple this reading encourages you to establish boundaries and trust your own strength so no fear to tell anyone what you do and what you do not want and accept. Even if they decide to leave you, the right people will stay with you, let me tell you. Those you can trust and those that can trust you. So open up, my dear, without any fear. And where is this block affecting you? Well, as a result of this change, one by one, all affected areas of your life will start to improve. First, your relationships, and then your career. And finally, because of this too, your happiness will change as well. You will notice waking up each and every day, waiting to see with excitement what magic will unfold this day. The change in your life is immediate, transforming your relationships, your career and your happiness. And let me ask you this. Is there someone in your life who might be keeping you from stepping into your full potential? Think about this, my dear group number four, and I will see you soon. That's all for today. Take your power back and enjoy your life. And please share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao!